Next launch, uh, Starship launch, launch is probably in about a month. Oh, my goodness. What an incredible speed. Seven months, four months, and two months are the intervals between Starship test flights, and they're getting shorter. And this time is no exception. The waiting time for the fifth Starship flight will be ready in just one more month. So why are Elon and SpaceX turning around Starship launches with speed so fast? What can we expect in Flight 5, and how many changes has Elon upgraded on the next launch? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. In 2023, the first test flight of Starship caused significant damage to the launch pad and discovered numerous technical details that needed refinement related to the Starship rocket, which required SpaceX a lot of time to fix and address. This led to extended delays till the second flight. However, living up to its reputation as the king in the space race, by the fourth Starship launch, SpaceX had cut that wait time by more than half. Now, with most of the issues with the launch pad and rocket resolved, SpaceX can quickly conduct more test flights to improve technology and gather data. And Elon Musk believes that the fifth Starship test flight will take place in a month. So, how will Elon Musk and SpaceX prepare for this early launch? During the live broadcast on X, in addition to revealing the new launch schedule for Flight 5, Elon also shared new upgrades for the massive spacecraft to increase the chances of success for not only the upcoming flight, but also for future missions. First, an important change SpaceX needs to make is to Starship's heat shield. As is the case with other spacecraft, Starship's heat shield is one of the most complex components. SpaceX uses 18,000 hexagonal ceramic tiles, similar to the heat-absorbing tiles used on NASA's space shuttles. During re-entry, the temperature outside the rocket can reach up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 1,430 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt aluminum, a metal used in the structure of many launch vehicles. According to Musk, before the next flight, SpaceX will upgrade the rocket's heat shield tiles. This was confirmed by Elon on X when he responded to Everyday Astronaut's tweet about the heat shield. Not a difficult prediction. We will have this nailed for the next flight. One regular problem that Starship has faced throughout its testing history is the heat shield tiles falling off. These tiles come loose during flight and while the rocket's on the ground. Musk shared that SpaceX plans to add an additional layer under the tiles to keep the ship safe during re-entry in case its tiles start to fall off. We have to take, we're going to replace the whole heat shield on the ship, so the new heat shield tile is about twice as strong as the ones that were on the last flight, shared Musk. So, and we want to put an ablative secondary structure, like basically a blade of protection behind the tile, so that if a tile cracks or come loose, it doesn't cook the rocket, he added. The new tiles are about twice as strong, or hopefully half as likely to crack or come off, and SpaceX tested the secondary ablative material in the fourth flight in the areas where the heat shield tiles were deliberately removed. This material is like a silicone, felt ablative, which is not good for reuse, but keeps the ship and its inhabitants safe in case the tiles fall off during or before re-entry. In addition to the heat shield, the hardware of Starship also needs to be reviewed again and upgraded by SpaceX. Notably, the hot staging section located above the Super Heavy plays a crucial role in assisting the separation of the two rocket stages. During the fourth flight, SpaceX jettisoned the hot staging to reduce the weight of Booster 11 as it returned to Earth. However, it is known that this was only a temporary measure used for this launch, as continuously discarding the hot staging would reduce Starship's quick turnaround capability. Therefore, the trend toward designing a new hot staging is extremely positive for Starship. With a new design, discarding the hot staging will no longer be necessary. Another system expected to be upgraded on Starship is the addition of roll control thrusters. This improvement will help SpaceX better control the landing process and attitude, minimizing those issues like valve clogging that occurred during Flight 3. SpaceX has stated that they've implemented this upgrade since Prototype Ship 29, and after the success of Flight 4, they will certainly continue to integrate and improve this system in subsequent prototypes to achieve the best results for Starship. Regarding the booster, SpaceX needs to continue improving its engines. In previous upgrades, SpaceX focused on eliminating or simplifying complex and failure-prone components like wiring and nozzles, making the engines more efficient with each flight. However, the necessary reliability has not yet been achieved, as demonstrated by the fourth Starship launch when Super Heavy lost two engines that failed to ignite during ascent and landing. Although this did not affect the success of the flight, I'm sure SpaceX is going to do everything possible to prevent these issues from happening. They'll further enhance their engines, not only in terms of stable operations, but also greater power. As we know, upgrading engines is an ongoing process, applicable not just to a specific version, but to the entire Raptor engine system. 
From Raptor 1 to 2 and Raptor 3 and even beyond, small details will gradually be minimized. Some may maybe even be eliminated, simplified, or integrated together. These optimizations will significantly reduce operational risks, repair, and production times, while continually increasing engine power. Additionally, SpaceX needs to upgrade the internal systems of the vehicle. Specifically, to address the issue from Flight 3, SpaceX stated the failure of Booster 10's engine was due to a clogged filter, obstructing the liquid oxygen path from the fuel tank to the engine, leading to a loss of input pressure in the oxygen turbo pump engine. SpaceX upgraded the fuel filter inside the liquid oxygen tank to resolve this issue, starting from Booster 11 and subsequent prototypes. To enhance reliability, especially after the recent engine failure on Booster 11, they'll continue to closely monitor and strengthen these upgrades. Finally, a change that Elon himself has acknowledged is the re-entry profile of the Super Heavy Booster 12. After successfully landing both stages in the ocean, SpaceX now aims to land using the Mechazilla arm starting from Flight 5, beginning with Super Heavy Booster 12. With comprehensive plans to upgrade the engines and hot staging system, along with the proven landing capability from recent flights, SpaceX is extremely determined to validate the effectiveness of this new landing method, a feat no other organization has achieved before. As Elon revealed in a live stream, he estimates a 50% chance of Mechazilla catching the rocket. Elaborating on the booster's return profile, he revealed that when the booster will come back, it'll have an impact point that's out to sea. So it'll have to steer itself towards the tower with the catch arms, and uh, if anything is, if the booster detects that anything's wrong, it'll suicide itself into the ocean. If things are looking good, it'll steer over to the tower, and the arm should be able to grab it. This means the catch tower performance could happen or not, depending on the booster's flight situation. The vehicle can adjust its trajectory and ensure the safety of the launch tower if it encounters any issues. Amazingly, such automatic features are integrated into rocket vehicles. As for Ship 30, the partner of Booster 12, it will once again splash down into the ocean. Promised upgrades to the heat shield and nose cone will significantly increase the chances of Ship 30 surviving re-entry intact. This will lay the groundwork for SpaceX to fully reuse their massive rocket for the first time with Mechazilla's arms in Flight 6. And if you're worried about the durability of the launch tower, Elon believes that the tower will be robust to thousands of landings. All that awaits is the readiness of the giant starship. After securing the rocket's landing, SpaceX will aim further into space. Whether it's the moon, Mars, or any other celestial body, the heat shield engines and nose cones will play crucial roles in all these endeavors. Ahead lies a challenging journey for the SpaceX teams. Through testing, problem solving, and making significant changes, SpaceX has achieved remarkable success over the years. The same formula will continue to guide them as they pave the way for humanity's interplanetary existence. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching and catch you next time.